I've always thought to myself, what would it be like if you know you're going to die? And I've always thought, I'd want to go quick or I'd want to go peacefully. That's what the hospice does. It allows you to go peacefully. I was in a pop group in Sheffield playing on stage and uh, I saw this sort of girl walk across the dance floor in a pinky orange suit. She's nice. I asked one of the lads, go and ask that girl there if she'll go out with me. Tell him if he wants to go out with me, he comes ask me himself. So I did, basically. <laughs> she had a cyst on her pancreas. She had an emergency operation, but she survived. And we pulled through and it gave us another eight years. And the Golden Wedding we had at Cole Aston Community Centre, which is where we met. So we decided to have donations to Asgate Hospice, never thinking for a second that one day we would need them. And by God, did we need them. They picked up a tumour on one of her kidneys. Pretty terminal, really. She said, well, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die on my terms. One of the first things she said to me was, how are you going to manage? And yeah, I mean, somebody's just told you you're going to die and somebody says, how are you going to manage? <laughs> My son, who was planning on getting married this year and his fiance then, brought the wedding forward to Christmas, hopefully that she'd be able to attend. And we were hoping that she'd do it. I mean, I think we gradually realised she'd not, she'd not be able to do it, you know, as it got closer. And it got really unbearable, you could tell that. And I don't know where it come from, but somebody sent a, a doctor from the hospice. The only way we can look after you 24 seven is if you come into the hospice. Not knowing really what to expect, whether it would be doom and gloom, sad, everybody was smiling and happy, and a bit of a surprise really, I suppose. They let me into the corridors and I'm walking down. And I was amazed that everybody said hello. It was like an hotel room with a different bed. And it, 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 were, it were brilliant. She was sat up in bed, and that's something she hadn't done for quite a while. She were happy. They did everything. It was so caring. You couldn't ask for more, really. Not only did they remember the names of all my children and grandchildren that used to go, but they also stuck pictures up on, uh, on a board with all the names underneath them. It was very personal, very personal. Christmas, yeah. Every Christmas, we always have a big family get together, but it's, uh, it's mayhem, really. All the family, all the grandkids, great grandkids, plenty of going to be missing. But we'll have a drink to her, we'll raise a glass. That's what exactly what she would want us to do. Christmas is a time for giving. Please give what you can. I know it's hard but every little bit helps.